Roblox is known for being a fun game for kids, but what if I were to tell you there's a darker side? Behind the colorful avatars and playful games, there are hidden secrets and unsettling stories that Roblox doesn't want you to know about. Here are eight disturbing cases where Roblox turned dark. My parents are talking a lot about this on social media. It's a game app called Roblox. It's a simulation role play game that's really for anyone of all ages. And I've read that there's bad things, like, you know, there's predators and things that... You know, you're setting your kids up for um, a very dangerous situation. Starting with one of our most disturbing cases on this list, where an 11 year old girl from New Jersey was lured and kidnapped by 27 year old Darius Matilvich, a man she met on Roblox. At approximately 6.45 AM on September 10th, 2023, members of the Wayne Police Department responded to the area of US Route 46 and Old Turnpike Road on a report of a missing 11 year old child. The Wayne Police Department located the victim soon after she was reported missing Seen in Bear, Delaware. Police determined that Maletwitch met the victim while playing Roblox and transported her 135 miles from Wayne, New Jersey to Bear, Delaware without her parents' knowledge. Some sources claim that the sickening reason for Darius luring the victim was to record and indulge in child assaults. He transported her over 135 miles before police intervened and rescued her. This event underscores the growing issue of online predators exploiting young, vulnerable players on gaming platforms like Roblox. The official Roblox team, on the other hand, had this to say about the entire situation. Saying based on our internal investigation, the suspect and the victim did not meet on Roblox. We have not been contacted by law enforcement, but we take the safety of our users, particularly our youngest users, incredibly seriously. We have reached out to law enforcement and are offering our help. Despite Roblox's popularity, with over half of its 54 million daily users being children under the age of 13, the platform remains a hunting ground for online predators. In this case, the girl was groomed through interactions in the game, eventually leading to her abduction. Roblox itself claims to enforce strict community standards with a team of moderators, but incidents like this raise concerns about the effectiveness of those measures. Sadly, this isn't an isolated incident either. Multiple cases have emerged in which children were groomed or exploited via Roblox. The platform's accessibility and the ability for strangers to directly message minors make it a prime target for malicious actors. In this instance, Darius faces several legal consequences, including charges of kidnapping and child endangerment, which could lead up to 30 years in prison. You might have thought that things couldn't get any more shocking, but unfortunately they can. Consider the case of Arnold Castillo, a Roblox developer accused of the horrendous crime of sexual exploitation of a minor. We are following some breaking news tonight at 6 o'clock. 22-year-old Arnold Castillo of New Jersey is facing federal charges. A former Roblox developer known by his alias Jaden Shaledsky became infamous after being sentenced to 15 years in federal prison for grooming and transporting a 15 year old girl across state lines. He used platforms like Roblox, Discord, and Instagram to manipulate the victim by posing as a romantic partner and a gaming industry insider. Arnold transported the girl from Indiana to his home in New Jersey using Uber, where he eventually abused her. Something worth adding to this too is just how troubling these issues are in New Jersey, with reoccurring cases highlighting the state's struggle to combat these crimes. Law enforcement and social services continue to deal with instances of online grooming, physical abuse, and neglect. The internet has unfortunately became a tool for predators to exploit vulnerable children, as seen in the cases where platforms like Roblox and Discord have been misused. Despite efforts to address these issues, New Jersey faces an ongoing challenge of protecting its youth from exportation, calling for stronger policies and the community awareness to ensure safety. This case gained significant attention due to its prominent role in the Roblox community and the disturbing nature of his crimes. Soon I'll corrupt you beyond your wildest Jesus dreams. Christ. And me please, no, I'll rape you instead. You're the reason I'm gonna end fuck. up behind bars while that went aged well. These are just a few of the messages. Yo, know, he wasn't wrong. Google Doc showing Arnold's exchanges with uh, that same day. This nigga definitely did deserve two life sentences, bro. This nigga was flexing, being a pedophile and getting away from it, bro. What type of weird at? 
Yo, I, I swear, niggas these days are not real. During the investigation, the FBI, along with local law enforcement, tracked the girl's whereabouts using digital data from social media and platforms where Arnold had communicated with her. Despite Arnold's initial lies to authorities, the FBI was able to locate the girl on May 11th, 2022 eight days after she went missing. FBI agents found her outside of Arnold's residence in New Jersey, where he was promptly arrested. At the time of the arrest, Arnold had condoms in his pocket, further confirming his criminal intent. Now, let's turn to the case of a six-year-old boy who unintentionally spent his family's life savings on Roblox, highlighting how easily in-app purchases can spiral out of control without proper safeguards. Six-year-old Christian went on a spending spree during lockdown. He racked up an $8,000 bill on his dad's iPad and it was alarmingly easy. His father, Igor, had given him access to his iPad for schoolwork, using fingerprint ID for convenience. However, Igor was unaware that this would also allow his son to make in-app purchases without restriction. Over the course of three weeks, the child made 501 transactions, purchasing virtual items in the game. The issue went unnoticed until Igor's bank alerted him to the suspicious transactions. Upon discovering the charges, the parents were in disbelief, initially thinking it might be a scam. However, they realized their son had actually been spending real money without understanding the consequences. The family immediately reached out to Apple to dispute the charges, but their experience was far from straightforward. Apple refused to issue a full refund, citing company policy which only added to the family's frustration. Danielle, the boy's mother, described the process of trying to recover the funds as torturous noting that the company's slow response left them overwhelmed, practically since they were being charged interest on the overdraft. The incident highlighted a broader concern about how easily children can make purchases on gaming platforms, especially when linked to parents' accounts. Fortunately, after the family's story gained media attention through a current affair, Apple decided to reverse its decision and refunded the full amount. The ordeal serves a cautionary tale for parents, emphasizing the importance of setting up stronger security measures like purchase limits and parent controls to prevent unintended financial consequences. Moving on to another troubling case involving unwanted nudity and sexualization, we have the experience of nine-year-old Bennett. Roblox is a wildly popular online gaming platform for kids, and while its content may seem cartoonish and innocent, Becky Worley is here with a warning for parents about some content that is definitely not for children that parents in a watchdog group say is far too easy for them to act Bennett, then only seven, first encountered explicit sexual content on Roblox while playing a game with a disturbing song and image. As Bennett recalls, I found this random game with a bad song and a bad picture. Bennett's father described how he discovered a graphic photo of a woman's rear end in a thong within the game. The most concerning aspect of this incident was that Bennett, despite the in-game age restrictions, stumbled upon the explicit content. Bennett's father explained that he had enabled account restrictions, which according to Roblox, should have prevented his son from accessing inappropriate games. However, there was another instance where he witnessed graphic sexual acts being performed in a virtual setting. Roblox issued a statement asserting that such content is strictly prohibited and that it was the result of a player hacking into the system, a flaw that has since been addressed. The statement read, We have robust systems and protocols in place to ensure that such experiences are promptly removed within minutes whenever malicious actors attempt to break our rules. The likelihood of children encountering this type of content remains extremely low. Despite Roblox's official statement, multiple instances of sexualized content Content, language, and abuse have been observed on the platform even to this day. And even though Roblox has its wide appeal to young audiences, it has had its fair share of disturbing and inappropriate games that have slipped through moderation. Some of these games feature violent, gruesome, and unsettling content that's completely inappropriate for children. These include games where players can simulate graphic violence, use explicit language, or partake in unsettling scenarios like school shootings, cults, or drug use. Here are a few examples of the most unsettling games found on Roblox.
Shower Simulator. Originally designed as a joke, this game turned into a disturbing roleplay environment where inappropriate interactions occurred, leading to it being banned multiple times. Pal Town, it's tagging. I did not let them. It was forced? They followed me. Oh my god. Report it to the police, bro. Condo Games. These games allowed users to engage in sexually explicit behavior despite Roblox's age restrictions and rules. Erkek kadın olma şeyleri var gördüğünüz gibi. Arkadaşlar, e, burada animasyonlar var. Erkek kadın karışık. Female male yazmamışlar ya. Bazılarında yazılı. They are often re-uploaded under different names to avoid detection. The Streets. While this game isn't inherently inappropriate, this game features excessive violence, drug use, and graphic language. Players are encouraged to fight, kill, and rob each other in a chaotic environment. Vibe Place. This game appears as a hangout spot, but can devolve into inappropriate or unsettling conversations and roleplay scenarios, sometimes involving explicit content. Like, nah, nah, like, I don't... Me, me, for family, you know, I impregnate you, we have kids, you know? Uh, yeah, about that, uh, I'm actually lesbian, so yeah, sorry. I'm lesbian, too. Okay, yeah. dude, y'all better, y'all better get out of my face, man. These games showcase some of the darker and inappropriate content that can resurface in Roblox. Here in Utah, an Arizona man is facing federal charges for kidnapping a 13-year-old boy he met on Roblox. The Kaysville Police Department warned parents shortly after that kidnapping. Shifting focus to another horrible case, we turn to the story of 13-year-old boy from Utah who faced a nightmare far beyond what anyone could imagine. In a chilling tale of online predators, a 13-year-old boy found himself at the mercy of a 26-year-old predator who had groomed him on popular platforms like Twitter, Discord, and Roblox. The boy's ordeal began innocently enough, with casual online interactions that gradually escalated into the dangerous relationship. The predator, a master manipulator, used these platforms to gain the boy's trust and isolate him from his friends and family. He showered the boy with attention, flattery, and gifts all while carefully grooming him for abduction. As the situation grew more dire, concerned Twitter users pleaded with Elon Musk and the platform safety team to intervene. They shared screenshots of the predator's disturbing messages and highlighted the boy's vulnerability. However, despite their urgent pleas, Twitter failed to take swift and decisive action. Tragically, the boy was eventually kidnapped and subjected to repeated assaults. Law enforcement agencies eager to rescue the boy faced significant delays due to an error in the search warrant. This unfortunate oversight further hindered their investigation and prolonged the boy's suffering. After a harrowing few days, the boy was finally found at a gas station, safe but traumatized. His ordeal has raised serious questions about Twitter's ability to protect its young users from online predators. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk in the digital world and the urgent need for stronger safeguards to prevent such tragedies from happening again. Turning to an even more controversial topic, Roblox, a platform designed for creative play, has alarmingly became a place where users recreate some of history's darkest moments. From the assassination of John F. Kennedy to the 9-11 attacks, players are transforming real-world tragedies into interactive scenarios, raising serious concerns about their potential impact on young minds. Now, let's explore how these tragic events are being reenacted and the challenges Roblox faces in keeping such disturbing content under control. One of the most unsettling recreations on Roblox involves the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. In these games, players take on the role of the shooter or witnesses, actively participating in one of history's most traumatic events. This understatement of real-life violence has sparked outrage, especially considering the platform's young audience. Another shocking example includes Roblox games that attempt to recreate the September 11th attacks. Players can engage in simulations that replicate the destruction of the World Trade Center, turning a national tragedy into an interactive experience. Many Roblox games also feature detailed recreations of World War II battles, often including Nazi symbolism and violent bloody combat. While some argue that these games offer educational value, others worry that they glorify war and desensitize players to historical atrocities. 
Some Roblox users have even gone as far as to create the 1999 Columbine High School shooting. These simulations allow players to reenact one of the most infamous school shootings in American history, raising serious concerns about the harmful impact of these games on impressionable players. Despite Roblox's efforts to moderate content, these games frequently resurface under new names, making it difficult to fully eliminate them. The platform's vast user-generated content creates an ongoing struggle to balance freedom of creativity with the need to protect young players from disturbing content. And now, for perhaps the most heart-wrenching case, we look at the tragic story of a mother who lost her 15-year-old daughter due to the dangers lurking in online gaming communities. In a devastating case, a mother is sharing the story of her 15-year-old daughter's tragic death to warn other parents about the hidden dangers of online games. The daughter was deeply involved in a popular game that connected her with strangers, eventually leading her into a dangerous and manipulative situation. These interactions likely led her to feelings of isolation and manipulation, with predators exploiting her vulnerability. The game allowed for unsupervised contact, which played a role in influencing her mental health ultimately contributing to her tragic decision. The mother believes that these interactions played a critical role in her daughter's death. She now urges other parents to be more vigilant, highlighting how easily predators can exploit young, vulnerable players on harmless platforms. Her warning serves as a wake-up call for parents to monitor their children's online activity and ensure their safety.